Hey, this is pay, um, calculus. It's page 174, solutions for 12, 14, and 16. Um, so here we have y equals 1 over sine squared minus 2 over sine. Um, once again, these you can kind of rewrite them a lot of different ways and work them. I'm just going to work it as it sits here. So I'm going to go for 1 over sine squared as a quotient rule. I don't know if that's the most efficient way, but let's see here. The u up top is 1, and the v on bottom, I'm going to rewrite it as sine x squared, so it's a little bit more obvious what I'm going to do. Um, but uh, derivative of 1, of course, is 0, and then the v prime here, we're using the chain rule. So I'll put that in here, chain rule, okay, and my u is the sine. So coming down here, um, it's a power rule, so 2 comes out front, and then I will have u stay inside the parentheses, and I will have a u prime on the outside. So the u is sine of x, and the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So coming on down here, I'm going to put this quotient rule back together. I doubt I'll clean this up very much. But y prime will be the big old fraction of um, v. So sine squared times u prime, which is 0. So we'll mark all that out in a moment. Minus u, which is 1, times the derivative of v. So that is 2 sine cosine, and that is all over v squared, and v uh, was sine squared, so v squared will be sine to the fourth. So let's label all that for our first one. It's v u prime minus u v prime all over v squared. I'm going to go ahead and mark out this zero part. You can clean that up if you want. It would be 2 sine cosine over, excuse me, negative 2 sine cosine over sine to the fourth. So we could even reduce a little bit up there. Uh, but let's see over here what we're going to do. So we still got the minus 2 over sine. So we're going to do another quotient rule. So my u can be negative 2, derivative of that would be 0. My v can be sine, derivative of that is cosine. So if I put that back together, we will have plus the big old fraction, because I incorporated the minus into it. But let's see, v, which is sine of x, times derivative of u, which is 0, minus u, which is negative 2 minus negative 2, times the root of v, which is cosine. And all of that will be over v squared, so that would be sine squared of x. So let's mark out and label. We could really clean this thing up, but I'm just going to leave it as is. v u prime, u v prime, and v squared. So there are probably a lot of ways with the trig functions we could really reduce that, but <clears throat> that is the derivative part. Okay. Let's go find 14. Here's 14. 14 is S equals the cotangent cube of 2 over T. I'm going to rewrite this sum. So I'm going to rewrite it as S equal. Okay, so cotangent cube, I'm going to put that in a big old block, so it's obvious that I'm going to do some type of chain rule, and 2 over t, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 times t to the negative 1. So the main thing I've got here when I go to do a um, derivative is I'm going to use a chain rule, but the main thing I've got here is a power rule. So I've got a 3, um, excuse me, I've got something cubed, so i got 3 that comes out front. So my original u is right here, which is a cotangent of 2t to the negative 1. So let's put ourselves some parentheses here. We'll put some bars since it's kind of crazy. So the power rule said the 3 comes out front and the exponent goes down to 2. 
So then we're going to put the U back in. And on the outside, we will have U prime, whatever that might be. I don't know how long it's going to be. But U was cotangent of 2T to the negative 1. And then out here, we need the derivative of cotangent, which is negative cosecant squared. But even in this one, let's use an extra color. We've got another U here. And that is the 2, well, go back, 2T to the negative 1. So the U prime of that, oops, let's take that off. We wanted that to be green for some reason. Um, this U prime will be negative 2T to the negative 2. So well, let's clean that up a little bit since we're here. But there was a chain rule inside a chain rule. So let's see what we can clean up. Um, S prime will be, here's a... 3, here's a negative, here's a negative 2, so it looks like we can clean that up to be 6. Um, if we want to pull these things out front, we could pull the t to the negative 2 out here to look good. Then we'll have cotangent squared of 2t to the negative 1, and that will be times cosecant squared of 2t to the negative 1. All right. Um, whether you clean it up or not is up to you. Sometimes when they get a little bit messy, it's really hard for me to read, though, so it might be good to clean some of these up if a lot is happening. All right, let's go to 16, the last one for this video. S equals cosecant of 1 minus t plus 3 t squared, and that cosecant is to the fifth. So let's just rewrite it, um, similar to what we did in the previous one. So we'll have S equals, we're going to use our big bracket, so cosecant of 1 minus T plus 3T squared, all that raised to the fifth. So um, using the brackets kind of shows us that we've got a big old power rule, and, excuse me, yeah, big old power rule with a chain rule, with the U inside being the cosecant function. So let's come down here and do our derivative, S prime will be 5 times, well, the exponent of 5 comes out front and goes down to 4. Um, so we have the u function still in here, and it'll be times u prime, whatever that looks like. I think this one was actually pretty long. Um, but the u that's in here is cosecant of 1 minus t plus 3t squared. And this one has a double u, so inside here when we go to take the derivative of cosecant for the chain rule, the first chain rule, we have an extra u. So derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant. And the u will go back in times cotangent. And the u will go back in. And then there will be a u prime at the end. So there's a u. There's a u. And then way out here we'll have a u prime. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Um, so the u was 1 minus t plus 3t squared. So that goes in both places. And then the u prime of that would be negative 1 plus 6t. I don't know how much of that I even want to attempt to clean up. Let's look. S prime. Let's kind of take the parts we could kind of clean up. Here's a 5. There's a 5 here, I think. It's not highlighting for me. Yeah. And then here's a negative. And then here's this negative 1 plus 6t. Let's combine all that. So negative 5 times this over here will give me, come on buddy, computer's running, yeah, there we go. Negative 5 times all that will be a positive 5 minus 30t, I believe. Those things I highlighted. The rest of it, 
have a cosecant to the fourth and another cosecant. They're the same thing, so we can write that as cosecant to the fifth. 1 minus t plus 3t squared. And then we have the cotangent of the same thing. Okay, so that's all those problems I signed, worked out. Um, so, got any questions on them, let me know. Thank you.